Hi, I'm Jim Hebe from Wood Magazine, and we're here at AWS 2013 with Mark Schroeder from the Titebond Company. And Mark, you know I do an awful lot of presentations, and I see a lot of woodworkers, but I'm still constantly asked those questions about what the difference between original Titebond, Titebond 2, and Titebond 3. Jim, it's a good question, and I tell you, it's one we get a lot. And a lot of woodworkers look to Titebond to help provide solutions to whatever project they may be working on or have at hand. Mm -hmm. um, now they know oftentimes that they want to use a type on glue, but they may be unclear as to which type on glue sure. to choose. And I think a lot of that is based on the fact that we have the widest variety of glues specifically for use uh, in woodworking applications. Um, but we feel like if we take a look at maybe our three most popular glues, those that are most familiar to consumers, whether that's woodworkers or do-it-yourselfers or hobbyists, uh, maybe we can compare and contrast a little bit and that'll go a long way to helping answer some of these frequently asked questions that's perfect. that we get. And here they are. Here they are. So if we look at this guy here, this is a type on original uh, and this really set the standard years ago uh, for PVA, polyvinyl acetate wood glues. The product's been around for almost 60 mm. years. A uh, longtime favorite of carpenters, craftsmen alike. Now it's an interior wood glue only, okay. so it's not to be used uh, in exterior projects. Uh, anytime where it may have exposure to the outdoor elements, you know, moisture or dampness, this is not the product to use. But for interior use, it's fantastic. Strong initial grab, uh, sets quickly to help reduce clamp time. It sands easily, so if you never, if there's ever the need to remove a dried or cured glue line from the surface, uh, that can be done easily. Okay. Type on two. Type on two, now we're introducing a level of water resistancy that you won't find with type on original. Uh, like type on original, it's water based, so it can be cleaned up easily in the wet state with water. Okay. Uh, but it's water resistant, so now it's becoming a more versatile product to use. It can be used indoors or out. Uh, it also has a strong initial grab, excellent uh, final bond strength, uh, and again, can be used in a lot of different uh, varieties and projects. And then there's Type On 3, the ultimate wood glue, uh, by far our most versatile glue in that it is uh, water-based as well, uh, but it is waterproof. So it's got a higher degree or higher level of water resistancy that you would find, say, in Type On 2. Uh, in addition to that then, it's got a longer working time or longer open time um, so that it gives woodworkers a little bit more latitude, a little bit more um, time to get their pieces and parts uh, prepared to be joined. I think a lot of woodworkers appreciate that they fact uh, to have that available. Uh, and also it's got a lower application temperature. So if you're a woodworker that's uh, you know, wor working in a, in a cold environment, maybe you're in an unheated garage or shop or wherever you are, Type on 3's got a low application temperature, meaning it can be used in temperatures a little lower than where you might typically use either of these two. Okay. Um, a similarity then between Type on 2 and Type on 3 is they're both FDA approved for indirect food contact. That's a key. It's a key because if you're working on a project, say like a cutting board, it comes in really handy. Well, that certainly clears it up for me, and I'm certainly sure that it'll take care of those questions that you get occasionally, although we'll probably still get them. I'm sure. <laughs> but what it does is it puts a lot more clarity into those three products. Good. Thanks a lot for inviting Jim, us. Jim, thank in you your very booth. much. Appreciate it. I hope you. that helps. It does. Thanks.